Hi everyone, welcome back to Easy Coding. Today we are going to discuss about Cognizant Technology Solutions Automation QA Interview Questions. Majority of the questions which we are going to cover we have already discussed in the previous interview sessions. So the uncovered question answers will be uploaded separately for easy access. Without wasting our time, let's get started. First one, introduce yourself. Question number two, I want to execute my Selenium test on a different machine. How can I do that? Question number three, how can I pass the browser name as an argument from the Jenkins file to the Cucumber step definition? Question number four, which listener you have used in test ng? Five, I need a set of code to be executed before the first scenario in a feature file. How can I do that? Question number six, array a is equal to six, eight, eleven, six, seven, eighteen. Target equal to 17. Write a program to print the index of any two array elements whose sum is equal to target, which is 17. Question number 7. What are interfaces used for? Give examples of how you have used them. Question number 8. Write the XPath of a particular label. 9. How do you execute your test on CICD pipeline? Question number 10. How will you find broken links on the web page? So all these questions were from the round 1. So let's move on to the round 2 questions. Question number 1. What is a static keyword? What is it used for? 2. What is the use of a constructor? 3. Write a program to print the maximum repeated character and minimum repeated character from a string. Fourth question. Write an XPath of a particular cell based on the value of a neighboring cell in a web table. Fifth question, how will you find a given text on any cell in a web table? Sixth one, what is dependency injection in REST assured? Seventh question, what is the difference between error code 401 and 403 status code? So that's all about the Cognizant Technology interview questions. Before attending any interviews, please try to cover our previous interview questions and answers and do not forget to cover the OOPS concept as well. Please subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.